In this video, we're going to look at the area of a parallelogram, rhombus, and trapezoid. So first, a parallelogram, the area is A times B. Now in rhombus, the area is A times B divided by 2. And in trapezoid, the area is A plus B times height over 2. So let's see how we get these equations. First, let's look at the parallelogram. Let's draw a line from this point all the way straight down here and then connect the dots from here. Now that we just created a triangle, and the area of this triangle and this triangle are the same. So this side had a length of B, then this side, of course, will have a length of B as well, hence the equation A times B. Now in rhombus, if we draw a rectangle around it, So a rectangle which has the length of A and the width of B. Then this large rectangle has an area of A times B, and the rhombus is exactly half of that, hence that equation. Finally, on trapezoid, if we extend this line by the length of B, and this line by the length of A, and then if we connect the dots, what we get here is the equivalent of a large parallelogram. So let's just go over what we did. We had A here, but we extended the line by the length of B. And on the other side, we already had the side B, and we extend it by the length of A. So using the equation for parallelogram, we have A plus B times H, but this time we needed to divide it by 2, hence the equation. All right, let's move on to diagonal of a rectangle and a square. All right, so on a rectangle, the length of D is the square root of A squared plus B squared. And in square, it's just square root of 2A. So we use the Pythagoras theorem here. D squared equals A squared plus B squared. Therefore, the length of D will be the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now, on a square, all sides had the same length. So instead of A plus B squared, we have A squared plus A squared, which is equal to 2A squared. So the length of D will become the square root of 2A squared. So we get square root 2 and A.